In my district and in rural America across this nation, our health care providers and our hospitals are on life support. But instead of doing everything we can to keep their doors open, Congress this weekend allowed two programs, CHIP, the Children's Health Insurance Program, and DISH, which ensure their insolvency to expire. While IPAB will not be triggered until 2021, the low volume adjustment, community health center funding, and CHIP funding expired last week. Congress also failed to delay DISH cuts, which will impact hospitals this year, right now. Last month, Mr. Chairman, I had an opportunity to visit a hospital in my district, J. Paul Jones Hospital in Camden, Alabama, that is on the brink of closure. We're working to find creative and innovative solutions through community partnerships to keep their doors open. Regardless, the hospital continues to operate week to week. I have two other hospitals that are also in dire condition, where doctors and nurses are working without pay and administrators are begging local residents to vote for a sales tax increase in rural towns where sales taxes are already 10 to 15 cents on a dollar. Several essential programs for Alabama's hospitals expired last Saturday. Cuts to DISH programs went into effect, which cost Alabama hospitals $56 million in federal funding next year. The CHIP program expired, which provides health insurance to 9 million American children and 150,000 Alabama children. The low volume adjustment, which five of my most vulnerable hospitals rely on, expired as well. Alabama hospitals will lose more than $56 million next year alone if the dish payments are not delayed. In 2019, that will jump to $85 million and to $113 million in 2020. Mr. Chairman, the House is on fire, and today we're busy cutting the grass. Make no mistake, I understand concerns about IPAD, but this bill in this markup today does not even address how it, we, how it will be paid for. And it will cost $17.5 billion, not an insignificant amount. I am so alarmed by the failure of Congress to extend the low volume adjustment and delay and delaying the, the dish cuts for struggling hospitals and providers. Providers in Alabama and across this country cannot continue to cut their way to, pros to prosperity or profitability. My most immediate concern is that absent dish payments and low volume add-ons, larger hospital systems will decide that the, that the loss of uh, absorbing isn't enough to continue providing health care in Alabama, a state that continues to suffer from, expanding, from not expanding Medicaid. And we will lose providers and hospitals long before IPAB will ever be triggered. The emergency before us is the extenders and the programs that expired this past weekend and the ineffectiveness of bills currently being debated in the, in the Energy and Commerce Committee that address CHIP and DISH. While in Congress, we have a responsibility to protect the solvency of Medicare, I am a firm believer that we must do so not through cuts but through innovative approaches that increase access to preventive care and save long-term costs to the system. Yesterday, I received a note from an administrator of a large hospital in my district. While he has advocated for the IPEB repeal, as do I, he says that the issue of extenders, DISH and CHIP, are 100 times more urgent right now than IPEB. The hospital system he represents could lose more than $4.6 million in revenue next year because of the DISH cuts. And over eight years, the cuts would be as much as $99 million. Hospitals in my district and across America can't make volume uh, appear out of thin air to make up these losses. If these cuts are not delayed, the facilities will have to make further staffing cuts, consolidations, and facility closures. Mr. Chairman, we need to extend, expand, extend CHIP and DISH costs today. Not next week, not next month, but right now. I hope that we will shift to a bipartisan bills that expand and extend the programs our hospitals and providers rely on to care for our constituents. Let's restore the low volume adjustment, community health centers and CHIP funding and delay dish cuts before it's too late. I yield back my balance of my time.